Hey guys, this is Oscar from Shrinking Lacrosse, and I'm here to teach you guys on how to string a goalie head. So, for those advanced uh, stringers, um, you already know what uh, the top string is and all the uh, anchor knots and knots, so that's what we're, we're going to be using. So, uh, to get started, go grab my string. I'm just going to do a regular knot. Now, we're going to be skipping two holes, as you can see here. So we're gonna go on the third one. So I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna grab your mesh, and then you're gonna count 11 diamonds. So once you find uh, where 11 diamonds are, you're gonna stretch it, the whole mesh, as much as you can. And then you're gonna fold that in half. Then you're gonna get something like this. Now, the way we're gonna start off tying off the, the goalie head, we're going to skip one diamond and we're gonna go to the next one. And we're gonna string that through uh, this third diamond right here. So I'm gonna go through the second diamond. I'm just gonna do a loop start. So as you can see here, I went once and I'm gonna go twice. like this as you can see i went through twice so i wrapped this twice over here and now i'm going to start off on my uh top string so i'm going to start on this hole right here and i'm going to go to my far left from this diamond so for example i'm going to do my top string and i'm going to like tie it off to the far left getting tangled so it's gonna look something like that we're not going to the middle of the diamond but we're going to the far left and the reason why we're doing this is so that we could even out the mesh so we're going to the next diamond going through the second hole Far left, my left. And we're gonna make this nice and tight. It's gonna look something like that. And then for the third one, we're gonna do the same thing, go into the far left. gonna look something like that now for these three we're usually going to the far left now in the middle we're gonna tie it off the top string in the middle of this diamond right here so it's gonna look something like this I'm gonna do my regular top string make this nice and tight See here, we're going to the far left over here. Then we go through the middle of this diamond right here. Now, since we went to the far left on this side, we're gonna go to the far right on the other side. That way we could even out the mesh. So going to this one, next hole, next diamond. We're gonna go to the far right. Not too far, but you know, we're going to the right instead of going to the middle. And as we're doing this, we're also trying to pull the mesh to the side so that it could stretch out. 
gonna look like this. Same thing over here. And always make sure that you're keeping this nice and tight, especially between the two knots. Can't stress this enough. It's not just the knots that you're making tight, it's the strings between the knots. like that and then so I was explaining this right here these strings are supposed to be nice and tight nothing loose over here then we're going to the far right on this one so tight and I got something like this Now to uh, tie things off, as uh, since we started over here, we skipped one diamond and then we went to the next one. We're going to do the same thing with the other one. So you go through this diamond, skip two holes, go to the third one, and then we're going to wrap this around twice. That way it gets a better grip. So once you wrap, wrapped it once, put it nice and tight so nothing's loose. And then gonna go in again. Gonna make this tight. There it is. So basically, we're skipping one diamond. Then we're going to the next one. So this over here is gonna stay loose. Then you see top strings nice and tight. So that's for the top string. If you can't get it right, you go always the rewind and then you know try to make it right. So now that we finished with the top string, we're gonna go ahead and string the side. So this is gonna get a little tricky. I'm not trying to scare you, but these goldie heads are a nightmare. Okay, so usually for like a regular standard head, we usually go on the diamond that's like on the edge over here. We usually tie this off. With the goalie, we don't do that. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna skip two holes. Now that's gonna get a little tricky. So, okay, the best way I, I uh, see it is that see this this diamond over here and then right below is diamond two so there's uh one over here and then the second one so we're gonna go to the diamond next to it it's kind of sounds weird but look i'm gonna get a little closer so if you open this up you're gonna have one diamond I'm gonna go to the second diamond and then we're gonna wrap it around this diamond right here. So we're gonna go through here. So you see. And then we're gonna go inside this diamond. Like that. I'm gonna go through the hole where you went through. Gonna look like that so one two and then the diamond next to it to the far over here that's what you're gonna wrap so you're gonna make it nice and tight like that now we're gonna do that twice so go through it in and that again oh, damn it got wrapped in my mesh go through the hole we're gonna go through the next one so if since we started over here we're gonna go to the hole below this one gonna go through the same diamond you've wrapped it's gonna look something like that all right now that we did that 
we're gonna tie it off with uh, anchor knot. So let me move this a little closer so you guys can see. Okay, now with this diamond that's like uh, just by itself right here, we're going to skip four holes. So you see, since you wrapped around this hole, you're gonna count four. One, two, three, four. So you go to the this one over here. So technically you're skipping five, but you go through this one. So, dropping the bat over here. So, go through this hole. See, one, two, three, four, five. Then you go through this hole. Now you're going through that diamond right here. And you're gonna do an anchor knot. I'm gonna pull this to the plastic. That's your anchor knot right there. Now, on the next diamond, we're gonna go up through. So now that you went up through, you're gonna skip four holes. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna do a, an anchor knot on the next diamond. So it's gonna look that, like that. Uh, up through, then anchor knot. Now, just gonna go through an uh, up through on the next diamond, and then you're gonna skip three. It's gonna look like that. So basically, you skip five, four, three. The next one, you go up through. You skip two. Like that then the next one you go up through and you skip one and always make sure that you're making this tight I know I'm going pretty fast but I'm experienced so I know how to go fast and make these knots really tight at the same time so I mean I'm not trying to say keep up with me but yeah uh, so you skip two then you skip one then you go up through and then after you skip one you skip two and then after you skip two you're gonna skip one again gonna look like that so it's three two one two one and for the rest of these uh, up throughs you're just gonna skip two until you hit to the last holes so we're gonna skip two here go up through again skip two Up through again and then skip two and then for the last one we're gonna have only two holes left over so what we're gonna do is go up through and then we're gonna go on the last hole and we're just gonna do a, a tie off here so we're gonna go inside the head uh, like this, coming out through the outside. It's gonna look like that. And then we're just gonna tie it off. And there you go. That's how you do the side pattern for the goalie head. Just gonna skip five, four, up through one, 
do the anchor knot for up through one, skip three, two, one, two, one, two, 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 one. <clears throat> so yeah. Now for the next one. Um, you could skip through this if um, you really want to see the next one, but I'm just gonna like do it just you know for the video. So. We're gonna skip two again on this side. And then remember, uh, just to make things a little easier over here, um, you kind of open up this diamond over here. You skip this one, and then it's going one first diamond over here, second diamond here, the one next to it, this little part right here, this part right here, is the one that you're gonna be gripping. So, let's see. Here and then go through here. Wait, I'm getting confused. Oh, yeah, right here. Gonna go inside this diamond right here. And this is the one that you're gonna be gripping right here. Okay? So going through the same hole you went to. And then just grip it like that it's just gonna look something like that now going through the same diamond right here it's gonna go through here and then you're gonna wrap it twice gonna look something like that wrapping this thing twice so it's gonna look like this like that now you're gonna skip five holes so I mean I usually say five holes but like you're counting this one the one that you wrapped in twice so you go one two one, two three four five on the sixth hole that's where you get in and then you're this one, this leftover right here, this uh, diamond leftover, um, you're gonna do an anchor knot. All right, anchor knot up through one. Skip four and then do the anchor knot on the next diamond. Like that go up through again up through the diamond it's gonna skip three then do a knot go through this uh, next diamond up through skip two Go through the next diamond, skip one, this is going to look like that, so you're skipping five here, four, three, two, and then one, and then once you get to the middle, like around here, you skip two, and then you skip one, so you go up through again skip two all right up through again skip one that 
one, two, one. Now for the rest of them, you're just gonna skip two. Let's go up through. Just skip two. through again skip to up through again skip to and then you're gonna have two holes left over can do is go up through again the last time in and then you're gonna tie it off going through the inside like this you're just gonna make a knot there you have it this thing is tough. So if you made it through here, you're a legend. So it's gonna look like this. Top strings are nice and tight. Side rolls are nice and tight too. Then, I mean, this thing, you don't really have to bother or like feel insecure about it. I mean, it's all right to have this all loose and stuff. So yeah, now uh, we're gonna tie off the goalie head with the bottom lace so I'm gonna get your I'm gonna take off my glove usually I wear gloves for these goalie heads because they're kind of tough to string and they're tough on the hands and just to be safe and smart uh, I use a glove it's nothing I mean I don't really like being machismo or anything like that so yeah it's always better to stay safe so get your bottom lace then what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip one hole, well the first one here. Then we're gonna go to the second one right there. Now, where we tie that off, you see this part right here. We're gonna go. We're gonna skip this row and we're gonna go to the next one, the one that's not tied off. It's this one right here, the one, the row below this one, below this one. So. And then uh, once you find that row, you're going to skip that diamond. I'll show you right here. I'm gonna go through this one. So we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna go through this diamond. And then we're gonna go through one. Like that. And then we're gonna skip this diamond right here. And then we're gonna go to the next one just so we could even things out. And we go through this one, and this one. And there you go. So we skip through this one, and we're skipping this one as well, so we could even things out right there. Now that you went uh, through the last diamond over here, I'm gonna go through uh, since we skipped one hole here, we're going to skip this other one too, and we're going to go through here. So we're going to have like two holes left over right there in the middle. Then we're just going to tie it off, regular knot, just a regular square knot. Also, don't try to like make it too tight, like, you know, pull it down, unless you want a shallow pocket. But if you want a deeper pocket or like not so deep, you know, kind of like adjust your bottom lace here. Usually I put two fingers right here to kind of adjust it. And then I tie it off. There you go. Just square knot right there. It's gonna look like that. Now to break this thing, break this in, I'll uh, break this in. Since you can see it's a little shallow there gonna make this baby pretty deep gonna get your bat put it between your laps 
and we're just gonna go slide from the top to the bottom. And then make sure to use your body weight when you're doing this or just your arm strength, whatever. Just gonna make it nice deep. A little bit. There you have it. Put this away. There. There you have it. It's pretty deep for me. If you want it deeper, you could just untie this bottom lace and then kind of like, you know, make it a little bit longer. But I mean, this is okay, I guess. Now, that's how you string a goalie head. Usually, uh, when it comes to the shooting strings, um, I tie off. We have two nylons on the top and then two use two u laces in the middle so depending on whatever uh shooter setup you want you know that's fine you could just do whatever you want but for me and for this video so i'm stringing a, a standard r2g pocket i'm just gonna do uh two nylons on the top and two u laces in the middle so I'm gonna go through row 1.5 or one and a half, so it's below row one, this one. I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna go through the hole. Usually go inside the mesh here so that it could look nice and neat. I'm just gonna tie this off. I'm gonna go through here so you can see better. Going through 1.5. Like that. And always make sure that you're not making it too tight to shear string. You don't want whip or, I mean, if you like whip, fine by me. But if, for goalie heads, you kind of don't really like whip. Gonna tie it off. There. That's 1.5 right there. Make sure it's nice, kind of like nice and loose. Now we're gonna skip one row, then we're gonna go to the next one. Go through the hole. Then we're just gonna like cross this, crisscross. Like that. kind of even it out right here and then kind of push the shooter string with your fingers so that it doesn't be too tight because you don't want this shooting string tight tighter than this one otherwise the ball is just gonna hook on this string so gotta make a knot it's gonna look something like that kind of pushing your um, with the strings to make sure it's not too tight. Gonna grab your U lace and then um, usually I try to skip uh, two diamonds here. So skipping one here, one right here, and then we're gonna skip this other one right here, right here. So it's gonna be one, two, and this is where like we're gonna go through the U lace. So I kind of like track it down. One, two, through here, go through here, and then track down where I'm gonna go, and through the hole here. And I kind of even things out. So once I go through the hole here, try to even out the strings like that. Sorry about that. Something like this, trying to even it out. And if you're kind of confused what hole you are uh, supposed to go to, I'll give you a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 
So you're gonna go on the 27 hole right here. And then basically just gonna go and start forming that U lace right there. It's gonna look like that. It's gonna look something like that. Now, since you're skipping two uh, diamonds here, we're going to the third one. Now, the easiest way to find this is once you skip two, you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna notice that you're skipping three right here in the middle. So that's what you want right there. And then we're gonna finish it off right here. Like that, and then with the other lace, since you made this outline, you're gonna go through the other one. So you're gonna go through down through here, up through here. Same thing with this one. Down through, up through. Same thing with this one. Just gonna make this nice and neat. Down through, up through. Make this straight. It's gonna look like that. Down through, up through. Then you down through. Gonna go down through, up through. And then once you go down through on the last diamond, you're gonna go through uh, the hole out here. And then you're just gonna tie it off with a knot. There. It's gonna look like this. Basically you're skipping two rows one two right here go through this one and then you're gonna have um if you notice you're gonna be skipping three holes right here so if you skip three holes that's good you can see did a good job on this u lace now we're gonna go and do the second one so since we counted 27 let me see 28 29 30 31 32 on the 32nd hole that's where we go in And then we're gonna even things out with the tips. It's gonna look like that. Now, just gonna like make an outline through the U-lace. It's gonna look like this. And we're gonna skip one row. So once I do the outline, I'll show you. So the finishing off here, I'm gonna go through the hole here. Okay. So you see here, uh, we skip two rows. So it's gonna be one right here and then two. Then we go through this one and then we skip through two holes right there. So that's for this second new lace. And also, if you noticed, we're skipping one row through here. And we skip two down here. Then after that, we're just gonna like weave through all this, going downwards, upwards. So it's uh, down through, up through, like this. Down through, up through, like that. And then we're just gonna go down through, up through on all of them until we finish it.
this thing can be extremely time consuming. I mean, usually goalie heads I string average 25 minutes to 30. But for some people it takes them an hour. So if you're going pretty slow, that's okay. You're not the only one. There you go. So we're just gonna tie off this. And that's it for our uh, shooting laces. Also another thing to uh, keep in mind, or another trick to make sure that the shooting laces are not too tight. Okay, what I do is I grab the bat and then I just basically slide it. Now, if you feel that it slides through pretty nice, that means that the ball is gonna slide nice too. It's gonna have a nice release. But if for some reason you feel that the bat gets stuck like around here, that just means you have to loose, loosen this uh, shooting lace a little bit more. Otherwise, if this thing is too tight, then the ball is just gonna like, it's just gonna get stuck there. And also, if you feel like the shooting string is tight when you do this, that just means that the ball is just gonna whip. So, always make sure that you keep your shooting laces and shooter strings nice and loose, depending on your preference. So this is gonna have a really nice smooth release. You see, the ball releases right there. There it is, man. That's how you string goalie head. I think it's a nightmare, but yeah, gotta get used to it. There it is, nice pocket. So if you have any more questions, concerns about like how to string uh, the goalie head, you can just comment on my YouTube channel or you could just Instagram on uh, Oscar underscore Reyes25. That's my Instagram handle. So yeah, just let me know. And good luck. Good luck on stringing this head. Deuces.